What's up, everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and tonight, man, I am excited to be able to go back to the Rings of Saturn and take you guys with me, literally this time, because I'm doing this one as an SBS video. So I've had a lot of viewer requests since the last Lone Echo video that I put out to do an SBS on this. Um, so if you requested it, this one's for you. All right, I'm also going to do this no commentary, so straight gameplay. Let's just get to it. Jack! Over here! Emergency services on site. Clearing area. Oh, thank God for you. It, it just switched on. Captain Rhodes, sit rep, please. The automatic release protocols aren't working. I I'm wedged between the trolley and the rail. Clearing Can you see a way area. to get me out? Negative. It's trapped beneath the cowl. The access cover. If you cut through the bolts, we can get a look inside. Loose objects should be restrained. There. If you cut through the panel... Proximity alert, Jack. The pulse knocked out my cutting tool. Jack! Look! The anomaly is changing. What the hell? Jack, let me see this. Shit! Cutting tool back online. Incoming, Good. Jack! Cut the panel! Olivia, everything is going to be fine. Station hull compromised. That wave's gonna hit us, Jack! Hurry! Catastrophic structural integrity. Shit! Liv, do you copy? Are you all right? Liv, where are you? Nothing. Proximity alert. Proximity alert. Proximity alert. Para. Good morning, Echo One. It is encouraging to see you have finally recovered. Hera, what happened? Where is Liv? Station has suffered extensive structural damage from the debris field. My program was forced into hibernation mode shortly after Captain Rhodes' departure. How long was I offline? Unknown. My internal clock became desynchronized when I entered hibernation mode. However, the captain did prepare an emergency beacon. You will find it nearby. Emergency beacon. Got it. I'll have a look.
Mayday, Mayday. Titan Command, if you're out there, this is Captain Olivia Rhodes. Kronos 2 is lost. Say again, my station has been compromised. We were hit by a debris storm caused by the arrival of an unknown vessel in our sector. Damage is catastrophic. Honestly, it, it's a miracle I'm alive. I'd never have made it if Jack hadn't cut me free. But he... He won't reboot. He's gone. I can't stay here. Main power's offline, we've lost atmosphere. Radiation levels are climbing fast. I've no choice but to take my chances aboard the unknown vessel. It's a long shot, but if there's any hope I might be able to survive on that ship, I have to try. Titan Command, if you're receiving. Hell, if, if anyone's receiving, come find me. Hera, are there any Fury transports still operational? Affirmative. Reroute the nearest transport to the station airlock. I'm going to find Liv. Hera, open the activation bay doors. Echo One, I am obligated to inform you that leaving the station is a violation of Atlas Protocol. I don't care. Liv is in trouble. I'm going to help her. Now open the doors. Hera, can you locate Liv's transport? Negative. Sensor network offline. What if I were to repair one of the satellites? Affirmative. A single sensor pulse from one of the satellites would likely be sufficient. Then that is our first stop. Hera, I have a visual on the Fury. Is it ready to launch? Negative. Detecting hazardous levels of radiation. Fury controls are currently locked in accordance with Atlas protocols. Please activate the transport's radiation dampener before departure. Shields at 30%. Shields at 95%. Dampening field activated. Acknowledged. Long range sensor satellite located. Plotting course. All right, let's go find our captain. Select your destination. Destination, Sensor Satellite A2. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. Hera, status report. Repairs to satellite must be completed before long-range sensors can be restored. Understood. Hera, what are these unusual growths covering the satellite? Unknown. Recommend further investigation. Agreed. Begin new log entry. Acknowledged. Thank you. 
Hera, I've located the maintenance hatch. Acknowledged. Need a power cell. to investigate this unknown substance strange. Hera, did you see that? The substance seemed to come alive when the battery got close to it. I think it may be feeding off the power field. I should probably refrain from touching it while in that state. Recommend performing a visual examination. Battery locked in. The power is waking up the unknown substance. Advise caution. Now to switch the power controls to battery backup. Reboot initiated. Contact with the biomass. I should avoid active material. Recommend performing a visual examination. Received. Stand by. Amino organic compound. Intact peptide bond. Minimal cellular activity. Preliminary analysis. Dormant biopolymer. Origin unknown. Hmm. It doesn't seem dangerous. At least, not in its dormant state. Recommend completing a threat assessment. Be advised, physical contact with the substance while it is active is not recommended. Advise only touching the substance in its dormant state. Accelerated cellular metabolism. Pyrolytic reaction detected. That sounds unsettling. Commencing visual assessment. Substance possesses an uneven surface in visible diversity, suggesting it is likely organic in nature. Its sudden emergence in our ecosystem would seem to indicate the substance is somehow related to the arrival of the unknown vessel.
curious. Labor units are designed to maintain limited functionality, even after suffering catastrophic damage. But this unit appears to have ceased all internal functions. It is beyond recovery. Shields at 95%. Recommend completing a threat assessment. Advise only touching the substance in its dormant state. Shields at 50%. Shields at 30%. Reboot initiated. Recommend completing a threat assessment. Advise only touching the substance in its dormant state. A fibrous texture. It does not appear to damage my exoskeleton. It seems safe enough to touch, at least in its dormant state. Interaction logged. Investigation complete. Logging all observations of the biomass under the heading Unknown Biological Threat. Very well. Let's see if I can get this satellite operational. Shields at 
This panel is sealed on deployment. I'll need to cut it open to access the power flow controls. Satellite is now fully operational. Hera, please begin a long range sensor sweep looking for any Fury transports. Acknowledged. Echo 1. Long range scanners have located Captain Rhodes' Fury transport. Signal originates from within the unknown vessel. Understood. Plot a course. Acknowledged. Fury transport ready to depart. Select your destination. Destination, Fury Transport FR-103. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. 
Hera, take us along the starboard side of the vessel. Begin scanning the hull for distinguishing features or markings. Acknowledged. Be advised. Reducing speed. What is it? Possible visual markings identified on hull. Hold here. I'd like to get a closer look with the Fury Spotlight. Hera, could this be some form of writing system? Cross-referencing against all known written communication systems in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. No matches found. Assemble a table for lexical analysis. We need to keep moving. Acknowledged. Re-engaging thrusters on your input. Select your destination. Warning. Obstruction ahead. Searching for alternate route. Dead end. I can use the Fury Spotlight to help Hera find a clear path. The spotlight can help me identify an alternate route. There. That passage looks clear. Hera, can you confirm? Affirmative. Plotting new course. Plotted. Signal when ready to proceed. Select your destination. Proximity alert. Race for collision.
Give me an analysis of this vessel's design, layout, construction, anything that might help to determine its origin. Affirmative. Stand by. The vessel's overall configuration is unfamiliar to Atlas databanks. However, Hera. Hera, do you copy? The ship must be interfering with our comms. This signal is coming from somewhere in the vicinity. I should investigate the area. The vessel is highly irradiated. Liv's transport must have had a radiation dampener. I may be able to reactivate it. That should protect me from the radiation. Liv must have used this to find a way inside. Beacon. I should scan it to see if Liv left a message. Uh, Kronos 2's ability to sustain life has been compromised, and well, I've been left with little choice but to seek refuge aboard this, this unknown vessel. If you're receiving this Titan command, please send help as soon as you can. The area is heavily irradiated and. Oh shit. I can't stay here. Maybe I can get inside. Right, Captain Rhodes signing out. A control panel, perhaps. This could be some sort of control panel, but it has no obvious means of engagement. It may not be receiving power.
hull here is compromised. I may be able to cut my way in. This looks like some kind of maintenance conduit. I may be able to restore power to this section of the ship from here. This looks like an auxiliary power supply, but the biomass has rendered it inoperable.
This is an airlock of some kind, but it's damaged beyond repair. I'm going to need to find another way in.
Electrical charge detected. This power cell is operational.
Power cell installed. Now to replace the rest. Looks like the airlock is powering on. If it's functional, that's my way inside. Controls now have power, but I am unfamiliar with its holographic interface. The cabin is pressurized, but the air is reading unbreathable. Could it be the biomass? I'm able to draw power from this. I can use it to replenish my radiation shield if necessary. roughly humanoid in shape. This could be a staging area of some sort. This is similar to the emergency junctions on the Kronos. I may be able to redirect the power flow, but I'll need to cut this cover off first. Looks like I can access the ship's infrastructure from here. Those spores could be what's contaminating the air supply. is blocked by the biomass. I'll need to find another way around. The 
space spores detonate on contact. They would deplete my radiation shield in short order if I don't avoid them. Widespread biocontamination. I should be careful. over there went dormant when the power failed. It seems to be tied directly to the vessel's power grid. This bulkhead is sealed. Maybe I can cut through to reach the locking mechanism. released. Now to pry the door open. Something's pierced the hull. This appears to be releasing spores into the air supply. A bioweapon, perhaps. I can re-enter the main cabin from here. Curious, these warheads don't match anything in my database. What is that? Strange.
This area is highly irradiated. My scanner might help me find a safe path across. One of the doors here must still have power. lone echo in stereo so i hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, if you did you know smash that like down there i'd appreciate that uh but for me that's gonna do it guys i want to thank everybody for watching to the end of the video as always and and if this was your first time coming by the channel man thank you so much for stopping by to check out what i do here uh, if you liked what you saw here, head over to my main page, man. Check out my videos. You may find something else that you think is pretty cool, too. And, and if you did and, and you liked what you saw, smash subscribe, man. Come along with me the next time I do something cool in VR. Uh, and, of course, if you're already a subscriber on the channel, man, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, we just passed 5,000, and that that is just amazing. I mean, 5,000 subscribers, a million views on the channel, and I owe it all to each and every one of you. So, man, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for everything that you're doing to help me grow the channel. For me tonight, that's it. I'm out. This is VR Gamer Dude. Signing off, y'all. Peace.